All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for a video keeping you informed on the crypto market every day. My name's Austin. Today I wanna to share with you my experience with a coin mine. Today's video is not sponsored. I was not paid to make this video, but I was genuinely interested. So full disclosure, I did hit the company up personally. I told them I was interested and they did send me a coin mine for free. This is it. I've had it for about three weeks and this is my experience. Actually, what first put CoinMine on my radar was actually my dad. He sent me CoinMine's website and he asked me, do you think this is worth it? My immediate reaction was, ah, well, if it were me, I'd just buy Bitcoin because this looks cool. Don't get me wrong, this looks cool, but by itself, if you invest in Bitcoin, Bitcoin by itself will appreciate pretty fast as well, in my opinion. But then I thought, well, actually, I'm, I'm not really that sure because my background isn't mining. I'm not a miner. I'm a hodler. I am a long-term hodler. So I dug in. Uh, initially for me, one of the first major green flags that I saw for the project, the coin mine one, is that Anthony Pompliano, he is a believer in the project. He's a backer of the project. He wrote one of the first checks supporting coin mine one. He got his a few months ago and he put out a little tweet thread the coin mine one is nearly silent, pulls less power than a PlayStation, and takes no more than five minutes to set up. And I back this up. Uh, this was my experience as well. Very easy to set up. Not only is it beautiful, but cool to help run a network from your kitchen. Here's Pomps. Two other green flags for me, which is again, what drew my interest to the project was it's also backed by Coinbase and social leverage. But what's different about the coin mine one? If you're looking to start mining Bitcoin, start mining cryptocurrencies, how does the CoinMine One differentiate itself? Well, with the CoinMine One, no expertise is required, and this was my experience as well. You can set it up from any iOS or Android device, and you can run it anywhere with a Wi-Fi connection or also hook it up to an Ethernet cable. You can mine your favorite cryptocurrencies, which are then immediately stored in your in-app digital wallet. It has the entire Bitcoin blockchain stored inside, which will allow you to send Bitcoin near instantly for near zero cost on the Lightning Network. So in my experience, 100%, you just plug, play, start accumulating. I thought it was very easy to use. Personally, here are the tech specs. Pretty small, pretty lightweight. I mean, it's about the size of a PlayStation, weighs about 12 pounds. There is a sound. You can definitely hear it, but I just keep it in my living room. I have guests over. Nobody usually even notices. Uh, so it's relatively silent and uses about as much electricity as a PlayStation, I hear, um, and one year warranty. But let's get to the nitty gritty. What can you mine? How profitable is it? And is this a worthwhile investment? Is mining on a coin mine one worth it for you? You can mine Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, Zcash, Grin was just added. And in fact, if you check their Instagram, uh, Grin mining is now 80% faster than originally when it came on to the CoinMine One Miner. They're always optimizing. You will be able to start staking Cosmos if you want to, and new altcoins will continue to be added. Handshake is coming soon. And this is one of the things that I found most interesting about the CoinMine One, because yes, you can mine Bitcoin. Yes, you can mine some of the top cryptocurrencies, but because they will continue to add cryptocurrencies, for example, Grin coin, it's a new technology, it's a new altcoin. There is a lot of hype around Grin right now because it is so new and the tech is so new. And I've talked about it before. But for example, if you go to Grin on CoinMarketCap and you look at the markets that Grin is on, me personally, I would never put my money on any of these unheard of, at least in my opinion, these exchanges that I've never heard of. I mean, I've heard of Hotbit, but it's definitely not one of the top ones, MXC, CoinEgg, and the reason that Grin's not on that many exchanges yet is because one, among many reasons, is because it's so new. But while it's not available on any big exchanges yet, if you have a coin mine one, you could start mining Grin almost immediately. I think there's value there in that aspect. And as more altcoins come on the market, obviously people with a coin mine will have access, people that can mine in general will have access to those coins uh, before they get on top exchanges. In the last three weeks, here are screenshots of what I've accumulated so far. As you can see, around 70,000 Satoshis thus far, which brings me to my next point. How profitable is mining Bitcoin, mining these altcoins on the CoinMine One? If you look at the website, it says 
first off, keep in mind that the market is always changing, so profitability is always going to change. So these will always be slightly different. On their website, it says that you can earn about 4,000 to 5,000 Satoshis per day if you mine Bitcoin. This roughly checks out to my experience, again, just in three weeks. I would actually say, I think it's, for, for me, it was closer to 4,000 per day. So if this is interesting to you, a coin mine one might be something to check out. In my opinion, even if it was just a few thousand per day, that means eventually, uh, with enough thousands per day, I would eventually have one full Bitcoin. And I plan to do this, and I will keep you up to date on my experience, because I plan to keep this on for the rest of my life. But eventually, uh, with a few thousand per day, you will eventually have one full Bitcoin from the coin mine. Pretty interesting. But if you're asking yourself, what's the catch? What am I missing? Well, uh, in my opinion, I mean, they list that directly on their website. They're very transparent. First off, you are paying a premium for the hardware. They tell you this. But secondly, there is a mining fee. There's a 5% mining fee, which is subtracted during the mining process. So what you see in those screenshots, the mining fee has already been taken out. Uh, so you will never have to worry about any of the cryptos in your coin mine app disappearing. This percent that they take out, it goes towards keeping your coin mine one software up to date. So obviously, they're going to take their cut, but you take your cut. In today's video, I am just going over the basics. There's always more information to uncover. I'm going to leave a couple of these links down below. For example, uh, they just scored $2.5 million in their seed round. They have investors from M13 Ventures, Republic Labs, and even an early Uber investor, Shirin Pish Evar, contributed funding. And I found these statistics pretty interesting. According to internal metrics, nearly 10% of customers for the CoinMine 1 become repeat customers, and fewer than 4% of CoinMine 1 mining devices are returned. So um, by all reasoning, this looks like it's going to be pretty popular. Final thoughts. Would I recommend buying one? Uh, I mean, that depends. You do what's best for you. Me personally, I love my CoinMine. I think this is great for gifts. If you have a son or daughter or mom and dad that wants to start accumulating, start learning about crypto. I think this product specifically is, is great just for the average person, the everyman, because of the simplicity, because of the easy user interface. Now the negatives I would say, I mean, which they flat up, they lay out very clearly on their website. You are paying a premium for the hardware and they are taking their cut, which is nothing that I wouldn't expect. If you consider yourself more of an expert when it comes to cryptocurrency mining, if you consider yourself a little more advanced, then obviously you can find the hardware without probably paying as much of a premium. Also, that would give you more transparency when it comes to the exact hash rates, the exact details of, of your mining in general. But for me, coin mine works better for me. Yes, but keep in mind, I don't come from a mining background. I'm an average guy. I'm a hodler. I'm an accumulator. And I like the plug and play. I, I just like the ease of the, the simplicity of the user interface and everything we talked about. Hey, what do you think? Do you have a coin mine one? If you do, comment your experience down below in the comment section. Let's all learn from each other. If you have more questions on crypto mining, Bitcoin mining, just the cryptocurrency space in general, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We drop a video every single day. You do not want to miss one. And also, as, as more hardware gets put on my radar, uh, as this space evolves, I'm just going to give you my experience from an average guy, a, a long-term hodler, and crypto enthusiast. All right. I'll see you tomorrow.